Don't you yell at my little sister? So we're back. It's episode 8 of uh, Lollipop Chainsaw. We're riding a bus. You know, as you do ride buses. That's what children do. They ride buses. Oh. Bam. You guys ain't got shit. Doesn't it? Seems like it kind of auto-locks on for you. Yeah, whenever you go into here, if there's something good to look at, they, they look at it for you. Aw, how polite of them. What the hell? Oh, that's the flying ones. I, actually, I think that was a chicken. Or maybe it's... You just hate animals. Hate. They're zombie cows. Yeah, Nick. Hating all our fun. I think they're using chickens to fly. Oh, that would make much more sense than just... Oh no! That was land. That was land. So much dye. And so little brain. Oh no. Who's that? The next purveyor is the is the female Singer? vocal. Yeah. Let's go eat it. Or jump on it, or etc. First, cows need to die. Ugh, you're so evil. I need the coins, man. Where's the beef? Oh, it's a zombie. Meanwhile, in real land, uh, one of the other things that I've been thinking about is that uh, with that Suda51, his other game, No More Heroes, which I'm very familiar with, mm -hmm. um, they both are centered around the main characters themselves. Oh, dude, what a... Oh, no. You didn't. Oh, dude. Dog. Well, so, I guess this is where the psychedelic part comes in. I don't think we have any Nick tickets. I wanted to use that pop gun thingy. Yeah, it looks really too. cool. Next time I get to a buy place, I'll buy one. Yeah. Although I don't know if they have internet in what? Highland. Where? Where are we? I'm dizzy, Juliet. I... Oh man. It's like some weird giant egg. Oh. <laughs> Chat. That's French for cat. Where are you getting chat from chicken? Yeah. Well. A nice zombie if they're polite. Who's saying a zombie can't be polite? Probably the same guy who says a zombie can't run. I mean, it's better than most guys. You know, he'll wander for a brain and not just a body. It's true. Very true. Where are you little chicken bastards? Where's Use your star power to kill chickens. Where? Where's Curl? Yes, you are getting all of the uh, platinum for it. No, no, they're they're gold. Oh, those are just I, okay. I'm just weird colored. Where's Colonel Sanders, zombie hunter, when you need him? I thought we already killed him. That was like that big guy that we murdered. Oh yeah. He kind of looked like Colonel Sanders. Okay, so we're done here. No, no more chickens over here. Your greasy chicken. Your 32 special flavors. I, I don't know that quote by the top of my head. I'll give you a 33 special flavors of pain, chicken! How I made it an axe murder, but I don't remember the quote exactly. Rosalind, are you all right? I'm high as fuck! Oh, this is not her bus. It's one of those buses. Peekaboo! Ow! What just happened? Psyched out. Or like psychedelic out. <laughs> oh, Get it? Cause she's she's tripping. Uh oh. Shit! What? Oh, one of the giant field plower mobs. This this will do. This will do very well. Um, Younger sister has a bus. Older sister wants a motorbike. Get a tiller. Get the tiller. I'm gonna. Fuck some shit up for these zombies. Forward, oh no! <laughs> oh, it's spin me right round, baby, right round. 
How do they know my weakness is classic, uh, classic music? Especially the 80s. Why am I not sparkle hunting right now? Oh god, the zombies are all psychedelically dancing. I'm dancing too. We're all dancing along. Yeah. Done drugs. <laughs> Clever. Clever. Clever, homie. Isn't this the mini game from uh, No More Heroes? Is it? Isn't there like a weeding or there's a lawnmower mini game? Oh, yep. <laughs> Anyways, about that Juliet versus Travis Touchdown. Mm. I love how they, they both reflect the experience of the gamer stereotype directly. And oppositely between the two characters. And it's like really in your face and brutal about it. Mm. So you have Travis Touchdown, who in No More Heroes is what the gamer, uh, represents kind of what the gamer identifies himself as. Yep. Specifically he, I, I mean that very literally. Um, both that Travis is a guy and that this like gamer kind of thing that they're making fun of here and they're parodying uh, is as the player. Mm -hmm. um, but you have Travis who is powerful and misunderstood and he's kind of like this seemingly multifaceted guy but truly he's just a simple shallow douche mm -hmm. um, he's very he starts out weak but he grows independently using his own ability he, he slowly grows as a person, grows as a man in a, in a way of saying oh wow that is a dark save our shit he is, he is pinned to that nasty. He is their scarecrow. Not worried about it. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll believe you. Other things to worry about. Peeing on the crops? <laughs> Makes them grow better. No. Oh, like really? plant steroids. Um, so you have Travis, and then you also have Juliet. And Juliet kind of identifies as what gamer, uh, the stereotypical gamer's fears are. In that, not only is she fully understood, she understands herself, she's confident, uh, she's seemingly shallow, but is in fact very, like, multifaceted. In that she has her jobs and her hobbies, and she has to balance all of these things. Um, and that goes with the sisters as well. They both have their own different quirks and they use their jobs to uh, represent themselves in different ways. And on top of all of that, they start out strong and then gains more strength from friends as opposed to being independent. Mm. Which is like that that masculine, I, I don't need help, I can do it myself. I will grow on my own. God, I love shopping. And so Juliet kind of takes a, a completely opposite way of being a, like a main character in a way um, and it really reflects the, the gamer stereotype mm -hmm. is the idea is that they're gonna they're gonna bend and break this because it's such a cliche right and uh, so inside their games Travis touchdown is constantly a jackass at pretty much all times and because of it he's constantly getting screwed by all of the people around him and he never gets a break as opposed to in this game, Juliet is always cheerful and tries to help, and even if she doesn't, she still gets the things that she needs done, and she's awarded for doing her best, as, as always. Um, she's always making making more and more points over time, never like having stuff really taken away from her, while still having the same kind of you know plot adherence to pacing and having conflicts and stuff. Um, but it's it's all uh, a lot more, a lot less subversive. Is basically what it is. Ooh, you gotta get back up, man. <laughs> Dancing zombie is not very easy. Best mini game. The music is amazing. <laughs> I gotta say, it's Damn so it. good. I don't know. Why I always mix up B and X. 
Maybe you just, you know, you don't, you can't handle any kind of BX. Nope, I can't stand this BX. This BX is too much. Come on, man. There we go. Final pose. <laughs> Magic head. Oh, I yeah. heard boner zombies. Yep, boner zombies. And I'm just as worried. Where are the other boner bo zombies would actually be very frightening. Where are the boner? Oh, there. Take that, boner zombies. Yeah. I guess my my final statement on it is that, in the end of all of it, the the reflections that are kind of being made between these characters, is that. Travis, touchdown, is a total loser in the end of it all. Whereas Juliet is a total winner. We assume so far. Well, I mean, how I mean, how could she not be? I mean, she's... Even if, like, something terrible happens to the plot, she's a fully fleshed out and understood character, and she can develop as a normal, you know, character does, and this is true. no weird hiccups or hijinks. Like, uh having to trying to establish a background or anything that games try to do lately um, is, is gonna get in her way basically what if you flew up in a helicopter over a horde of zombies and you saw they were standing in the shape of a smiley face emoticon Aww. oh my god I would love that are you sure you haven't eaten a space cake also that's pretty much just Halo in a nutshell the yep. forge <laughs> you sure you never even make this? everything a smiley face. Also, how could you? How could, how could she be a loser? Yeah. With, with perfect quotes like that. That's true. <laughs> no matter what happens, there she will always be a winner, winner chicken dinner. Yup. Or zombie chicken dinner. You should shoot now. Oh, now you're defending a boulder. Well, yeah, that boulder never The did boulder anything. is conflicted! In that, literally, there's there's a conflict centered around it. Yep. <laughs> Little sisters, man. Ugh. Rocks suck. Yeah. Oh, hey, Mom. Oh, Cordelia. Hold on. They also both use phones. Travis and Juliet. Done and done. I will gladly do both of those things. Oh, God! Horses! Oh. Ha! Ow. Don't, no, no, do not attack a horse. Haven't you played Skyrim? Don't ask me for trouble. I am asking for trouble. I'm killing all sorts of farm animals. But they give me money. Oh, you also have a Nick ticket. I've got a Nick it. So next time in... Cut oh, that mushroom right. open. Oh, boy. They're kind of plot mushrooms. You don't really have much of a choice. Plush rooms? Yep. Wow. Oh, yeah, wow. man. Wow. No, we're really getting into the game. This looks like uh, when you try to listen to music in the Xbox and it does the weird. Uh... This looks like life, man. Is this the real life? Or is this just fantasy? I hear some kind of weird bubbling. Oh, That's God. the clucking of giant chickens. Also, do you see that face in the background? Whoa, tricky. Damn it! Not my fault. It's okay, that happens sometimes to men. They just sometimes can't perform. Oh, I hate chicken beak things. It reminds me of that terrible villain in Pikmin. Oh god, yeah, the big bird heads. Oh, they murdered all my Pikmin and I hated them. Oh no, I can just insta kill them when they do that. Nice. That saves all the time. <laughs> How does one create giant mutants? 
zombie chicken. If you can do it without the zombie, you would be fed for life. It's true. Teach you can harness this energy. Cure a zombie chicken for a oh, is it a really big one? Oh! <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? Oh shit. Mecha Hydra Gluck Chicken Man. I have... Oh god, it is mechanized. I have no, no uh, bullets. That's okay. Looks like you can kind of just Dick lure them me. in and then dick around until they pluck at me. Yeah. I not. What? What? I like how she thinks. I'm hungry too. Come on, come out here, bro. I think he's trying to tell you something, man. Damn it! What about? Is there any barrels behind you or something? I don't think so. I can't. Oh boy, I didn't mean to do that. That was a terrible tragedy. That was a wonderful tragedy. Oh, it even helped. Oh, really? There you go. Also, those guys got healed. Yep. Oh, man, he did the same thing I said better than me. Again. Yeah. Oh, shit, he's still here. He's just hanging out. He learned after the last time. It's like he keeps telling you hints. Oh god! <laughs> this was just like, fuck you! Stop shooting at me, man! Yeah, 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 don't rub it in. Get it, you're just as clever as I am. Video game. This is like those episodes of QI, that British intelligent show thingy. Oh, yeah. Game show. And every time I say something that they expected, it just laughs at me, yep. and I lose a whole bunch of points. Yep. You lose uh, internet cred. Ah, every time. Your EP gets shrinks. Yeah, I don't really have much of an EP anymore anyway. Me either. Not after people have seen me play video games. Yep. Yeah, we heard about your Mecha Chickenzilla. Yay, and it just the head just kind of flips away. Wow. <laughs> Oh, okay, compete worldwide in ranking mode. So there is that is the online component to it. Yeah, I just I was wondering what that was. Yeah. It was like, why does this need to be online? Why do I keep it, waking? It asks to. Why do I keep waking up on this thing? It's a drug. But thing. make sure to avoid red barrels. Back to this again, huh? Uh-oh. Now there's bomber scarecrows. Be careful, Juliet. I have a feeling this tracker's flammable as hell. Okay, now I actually And there's three hundred of them? <laughs> oh, screw all of us. It's okay, we've got <laughs> Dead or Alive and all of the, uh, what is that, Lucille Ball references that we need. Ow. There you go. Oh, I Love Lucy, that's the one. Yes. Uh -huh. Mmm, delicious zombie. <laughs> it just does the chorus over and over. You know, the best part of the song anyway. Yeah, Besides, ah, 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 ah. That's the best part of the song. There it is. So it has that too. Lies. Michelle Martin is totally hot. <laughs> you look like you're having fun. Watch out, here you come. I hope there are more than 300, otherwise I'm missing a bunch. Run their asses down, Juliet. Yeah, it's not a very big course. Run their asses down, Juliet. How much of this is really necessary? I 
don't know. Shh, don't answer that. It'll only make you sadder. I, I like to feel like all of this is necessary. It's not like Zelda, at least. Oh, it's true. Headless problems. <laughs> or bodyless. Dis disembodied problems. <laughs> Hashtag disembodied problems. Yo. Can't scratch butt. Can't scratch. Can't. Run their asses down, Juliet. Talk about asses a lot for a guy who doesn't have one. <laughs> oh. Luckily for him, the brain is the, the uh, biggest sexual organ in the body. <laughs> oh god! That's hilarious. Did you hear what he said? What'd he say? Killing people is fun when they're zombies. Which, isn't so that, is. wasn't that like a big controversy about, maybe not a controversy, but it's like a, a stereotype with psychology of as long as it's an other, it's fun to kill. Yep. So humans are fun to kill as long as they're zombies or like... Nazis. Uh, Nazis or, or the, the Russians. If, you know, we're at war with them. Or just anthropomorphic what's-its. Yep. Human-shaped things, but not humans. Oh, uh, he's so funny. He knows what's up. No, damn it! She is just so a little sister. Oh no, fuck! I think we might need to sit down and talk about this. Yeah. We'll just have to sit Nick the head down. Or at least, like, set him on a platform or something. Well, All right, let's chase I smell the end. I smell it. <laughs> He's just never satisfied. I know. It's like a German porn video around here. It's like a German porn video. You don't watch porn, do you, Nick? Yeah, Nick. Yeah, who watches porn on their own? Beautiful! Kill everyone! One of the most popular classes in, uh, at the University of Washington is uh, Sociology of Sexuality. Yep. Soch? I think it's Soch. No, Psychology. Psychology of Sexuality, so it's Psych. Um, yeah, psych of Sex. Besides, like, your classic classes like Rocks for Jocks and etc. Uh -huh. um, and it's, it's beautiful. Oh, I totally didn't know I had a... <laughs> oh, well, I'm gonna do it now. It's true. And then it goes like intense mode. Oh, hey! They, they threw one at me just for fun. So I'm <laughs> glad I did that. They're like, oh, this poor guy. He's just dancing the dance now. And that's just sad. I will just throw him some cash. I don't dash for your or dance for your money. I dance because it makes me feel good. I like how we keep getting all these calls, but just ignore them. <laughs> they go to voicemail. Yep, mom or dad, whatever, man. <sighs> so the uh, psychosexuality class very popular at University of Washington with uh, you a, a certain sort of people. <laughs> I, I've, <clears throat> I've never taken it. I've never, I've never taken it either. Except that, you know, if we had, we'd be super proud of it, because the kinds of people that take Psych of Sex are super proud of it. Yep. Every Friday is a Porn Friday, yep. and so they, they have a huge viewing. It's in one of the biggest lecture halls on campus, so pretty much anyone shows up to this, um, and it kind of becomes an event. Yep. It's beautiful. It's like, this is exactly what college is about, is working together with people. And watching and watching porn. You know, critically. Critically engaging with porn. It's like what we do, except with porn. Also, one of the most, uh, most uh, attended classes is, uh, Gay Porn Friday. One quarter, one of the classes will be specifically about, uh, just being a, uh, a catalog of different gay porns. Totally, uh, very heavily attended by a completely different set of people. Yep. Completely different from the normal porn days. It's like, this is... This is so perfect. This is everything that I, I can think of that I would want to see happening in my 
psych of sex class. Unfortunately, I've never taken it. I didn't have room in my class, and it would conflict with stuff. The usual, but, uh, definitely have had friends in it that, uh, are like, best class ever! Or, like, I learned a lot in that class about a very sub uh, subject that I didn't know anything about before I started. So, just like any other good college class. Yep. Juliet, it's Mom. I hate to be a dingbat, but... Dingbat! Mom! I'm trying to kill the hordes of the undead! God, Mom. So lame. What a dingbat. Dang ding dong bat. Not a dong bat, that's something completely different. It's like a. Yeah. A dong bat is probably something that Penny Arcade invented. I was gonna say, is it, is it like the dong wolf? Or the dick wolves? Dick wolves. Ugh. Dick Wolf's close relative is the dong bat. Oh no, are they? Are they hazing the skinny zombie? That <laughs> poor guy. They both, uh, both of those mythical creatures are uh, turning into human forms with the uh, dong vampires and the uh, dick, uh, dick werewolves. I think you mean dick pyres. Yes, I mean I mean dong pyres and were dick wolves, something. The were dicks. Or no matter how a were dick is something completely different from a were dick wolf. I think were dick is a is a college game. Good, I blocked it with. From all the cows that we've been killing. <laughs> it's true, those poor cows. Also, why are all these here? If I don't know. There you go. Ooh, they're behind you. Oh. So you can bite your heads. Oh, I was trying to spark a hunt all of them. That would have been awesome. That would have been, but it didn't turn out that way. So you can get a 10 hit sparkle hunt thing going. That'd be beautiful. That'll do. Nice hit. Damn. Ah, so close. So close. Oh, shit. 32 of them. Rally them. Come here, you little bastards. I think they're confused. I think they're like seriously confused about life. Or the lack thereof. There you go! Oh no, only three! I'm gonna get a lot more here. Okay. Nope! <laughs> or you'll just get them in tiny groups of three. Ah, there you are. There's a four one! Well, that was a start. There you go. Ooh. <laughs> it's going up in the world. Keep it coming. <laughs> you are rich. It's like they just give them it to you now. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Took a, uh, took a bad thing and made it wonderful. Give me a... A lot pop. <laughs> that was the best. Oh, here's a naked. Maybe this time you won't screw it up. Yeah. What a shame. All right. Hopefully we get to the boss soon because this episode's getting long. Yeah. But wonderful. Oh yeah. Oh. Nope. Another fat. Zombie. Ah, oh, it's Colonel Sanders. Okay, so should I use the Nicket? Yep. Nicket. Got it. Aw, oh, yeah. Pop. <laughs> oh, God. 
You just fire him. He just bounces back between them. Oh, and it stuns them. Now finish him. There you go. Uh, Nick Popper's not bad. Nah, that'd be great for sparkling a whole bunch of things. Be my bride. Also, now I can buy all Mario. the shit. Rosaline! <laughs> you have one of those buttons, right? God, I love shopping. Do we wanna, wanna take a color break right here? Um, yeah, uh, before the boss fight? Yep. We'll... Sounds good to me. <laughs> I just hope it's coming soon. I hope so too, just uh, in case. Alright, we'll be back in just a sec.